Hello, my name is Robert Kiyosaki, and I'm best known for writing the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. What I'm here today is say welcome to our website and give you a little background information of what makes Rich Dad's financial education different than other financial information companies. First of all, I want to talk about the importance of education. You see, in the world today, we, we go to school for academic education, reading and writing. Now, that's very, very important. My poor dad was a Ph.D., the head of education in the state of Hawaii, and he really stressed at the importance of academic education, and it is. Unfortunately, being the superintendent of education, son, I wasn't the brightest kid around, and I did flunk out of high school twice because I had a hard time reading and writing. Now, I did graduate from college. I do have a Bachelor of Science degree, but I'm not very good at academic education. Professional education is where they become, you know, a doctor or a mechanic or a web programmer or whatever you do. So professional education is very important. And my mother wanted me to be a doctor, but because my academic grades were so bad, she says, well, I guess you won't be a doctor. And the third type of education that's required, especially today, to be successful is financial education. And unfortunately, our school systems do not teach us much about money. For some reason, our school systems seem to think, you know, that money might be the root of all evil or something. Yet to be successful in the world today, financial education is extremely important. Because of this lack of financial education, we see the rich getting excessively rich. Today we have kids who are 20 years old who are billionaires, and guys my age, you know, after working 40 years, have nothing to show for it. So the gap between the rich and the poor is dangerously extreme. Many of the middle class are going from middle class to poor. So that's why financial education is crucial today if you want to you know, keep your head above water. Because ultimately, this is your greatest asset. You are responsible for your education and what goes in your head. And what the Rich Dad Company does is provide the financial education my rich dad gave me. When I was just nine years old, my rich dad began to teach me to be a rich man playing the game of Monopoly. And most, he said, the formula for great wealth is found on this great game board. And most of us know the formula for great wealth. It's four greenhouses, one red hotel. So as a little boy, at nine years old, I learned that. And today, even though I wasn't good academically, I'm not too strong professionally, I'm a wealthy person because my rich dad took, me the, took the time to teach me the importance of financial education. So to be successful today, we need academic, professional, and financial education. And financial education is what the Rich Dad Company is all about. One of the more important lessons my rich dad taught me, he said there was four types of people in the world of business or money, whatever he said. And this here are the four different types of people, and he called this the cash flow quadrant. So E stands for employee, S stands for self-employed, small business or specialist, like a doctor or a lawyer. B stands for big business, 500 employees or more, and I stands for investor. Now, the distinction here is this, is that each of these are four different types of people. They have four different tax laws for all four different types of people, and this is throughout the world. But it was my poor dad who always said to me, you know, son, go to school so you can get a job. So my poor dad wanted me to be an employee like him. And there's nothing wrong with that and all this, except the tax laws are the worst for employees. As Warren Buffett says, you know, he, as a business owner and investor, he pays a lower percentage rate than the employees. And many employees are having a tough time today. Not only is there high gas prices, but there's going to be higher taxes. My mother wanted me to become a doctor or a specialist or a small business person. And I said to my mom, S stands for smart. She says, you've got a good point there because I didn't do well in school, so I wasn't going to make it there. It was my rich dad who advised me to become an entrepreneur or a big business owner like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs, Michael Dell, or those guys who created Facebook and Yahoo and all this, or Google. And he wanted me to become an investor. So he started me playing the game of Monopoly, you know, four greenhouses, one red hotel. So I learned to be an investor and I learned to be an entrepreneur. So the good news is, if you want to get rich, you can get rich in all four quadrants, okay? That's up to you. So if it's time for you to move from the E or the S over to the B or the I, the entrepreneur or the investor, then welcome. The Rich Dad website is the website for you. One of the things that makes the Rich Dad company different is most people think that savings 
is smart, but my rich dad told me years ago that savers are losers. Now, I know this goes against the grain what most people tell you, you know, save money, save money, save money. But the reason savers are losers began back in 1971. And in 1971, President Nixon took the U.S. off the gold standard and made the U.S. dollar the reserve currency of the world. One of the reasons we have so much economic volatility in our economies today, high gas prices, high food prices, uh, stock market booms and buses, housing values going down, all can be attributed back to 1971. Plus, there are other changes. So what makes the Rich Dad Company different is that we do not really subscribe to the idea of being a saver. We think it's more important you learn to be an investor. You know, like if you had invested in oil 10 years ago, you'd be a rich person today, even though savers are losers. If you invested in gold 10 years ago, you would have been a lot better off. If you had invested in rental real estate 10 years ago, you would have been way ahead of the savers. So if you want to get ahead, you need to not be a saver, but learn to be an entrepreneur or an investor. And that's what the Rich Dad Company does. In 1997, when I released Rich Dad, Poor Dad, that book caused a bit of an upset because I said, your house is not an asset. So in today's world, if you want to be rich, you have to know the difference between assets versus liabilities. One of the reasons so many people are struggling financially today is simply because they're calling their liabilities assets, such as your house is not an asset, your car is not an asset, and things like that. So very simply, when I was a young boy, my rich dad taught me, he says, you have to understand a financial statement. So this is an income statement, this is a balance sheet. Now this is overly simplified. He says, what creates something to be an asset is very simply assets cash flow money into your pocket. And a liability takes money from your pocket. So for most people, their houses are not assets or liabilities because every month it takes money to live in that house. Even those who say, well, I don't have any debt on my house. I've paid it off. Look, you still have insurance, still have upkeep, you still have maintenance. So let me explain this. I'm not saying don't buy a house or don't buy this and all this. I said, if this is a house and I rent the house out and every month it's putting money in my pocket more than my expenses, then that house is an asset. Now that very same house, if it goes unrented or somebody trashes it or whatever they do, that very same house can be a liability. So a house can be an asset or a liability depending upon the most important word in business. It's called cash flow. Once again, if cash flows into your pocket, it's an asset. If cash flows out, it's a liability. Think of it this way. If you stop working today, how much cash keeps flowing in? That's from assets. And if cash keeps flowing out, that's a liability. So I'm not saying don't buy a house. I'm just saying don't call a liability an asset. And that's what makes the Rich Dad Company different.